Welcome to Retired Moments with Chris and Keely, who Hi. again is not retired. <laughs> and I should have done this with Gabe, but I didn't think about it until now. So anyway, Keely is over. Um, we are making um, chocolate cherry jam. Um, it, yes, it's a safe recipe. It's in the ball book. It's kind of, you know, look it up, people. It is safe to can chocolate I, cherry jam. I volunteered to actually pit the cherries though, so. Yeah, she she pitted all the cherries for me and she's been helping me uh, can the, uh, you know, mix it and, and get it canned. So we have cans right now in the water bath. So we decided to take this time to do another video. And if my eye looks funky, it is because I just went and washed off some eye makeup. I was trying to try out a new eyeliner and it fell apart on me on one eye just the one eye so if it looks weird that's the reason why i don't wear makeup anymore because let's face it i suckered david into marrying me he's stuck <laughs> now so who am i trying to impress um, anyway <laughs> no he, he's seen me long many times without makeup and he still married me so yeah anyway so i got something in the mail this week um yep another universal yams box um Again, they frustrate me because they send emails to you saying, oh, in your next box, you're going to get, you know, it's like, I don't want to know what I'm going to get. Just surprise me. Let me be surprised. So, um, Suggestion for anybody with Universal Yums, if you are watching this video, stop sending out the emails. I, just ask people if they have an allergic reality, to, uh, allergic reaction to something. That way you can nix it off of that particular person's order because I think that's part well, of the reason why they do that. It's kind of hard to do though because there's too many allergies to do that. But no, what they do is they like, like last month, was it turkey last month? Indonesia. Indonesia. Okay, so, so, so for the month when we got turkey, they sent me an email saying, this is how you make your Turkish coffee. <sighs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. Now I know it's coming from turkey. So, you know, and then last I month. Don't know where was, this is, I don't know where this one's coming from. She didn't tell me. Last month it was Indonesia, and this is the game they play in Indonesia. And it's, oh, why? So they've sent me emails again after they send the box out. They've sent emails again. I already know what this city, this country is, sadly, but um, I don't know what's in the box. And, and I know it's got a, something special in it. You know, they have now, I've, when I first started getting these, they didn't do it, but now they have these extra like toys and things like that they put in it. So I don't know what's in this one because I did not open the emails. It just was, you know, showed you the first part of the email. So this is like our Cracker Jacks, the surprise is inside. Yes. <laughs> because Cracker Jacks, I'm sorry. I liked it when we used to. You don't remember those days. When I you get a do, toy actually. in it. I, you would get I an actual a tiny, toy. I'd gotten a tiny little car out of, a, out of a box of Cracker Jacks before. That wasn't that rice candy from No, Japan? with the rice candies, they were like little figurines. Oh, okay. Because in Japan, they, they have these rice candies and in the box is a little toy. Where here in the United States, in the box is a sticker. Yeah. So you have like the kinder, for, the, yeah, kinder the kinder eggs. Egg. Same thing. You can't have it because it's got a toy in it. Oh my gosh. Well, and that's because in the United States they're worried about kids choking on the toys. Well, and kids stuff like do. That. Kids do. Yeah. But you know, maybe parents need to do a little bit better job of supervising their kids. So you know, mm -hmm. helico helicopter them on what they're eating and see what is in what's really inside. Don't helicopter them uh, throughout their entire teenage and college life okay so we have 
Da -da -da! Grease. So here's the card for Grease. Here's the book for Grease. Here's, here's the some stickers. stickers for Grease. Again, this is not something. Th this they had in the in the boxes when I got them years ago. And then they had this in the box as well years ago that had some information and you can rate, you know, your favorite and least favorite candy. So they had all of that, but they did not have these little stickers. And I mean, we've not filled any of ours out, so we still have the little papers and everything, but... I'm going to turn this this way. So and this is what we got from Grace. Some Buscinelli. Bruschetta. Bruschetta. Bruschettini. Uh, Mediterranean uh, style... It looks like croutons. Like little crouton crackers like things. But they are made with tomato, olive, and oregano. So, because yeah. the English they're, is on the other side. They're kind of crumbled. They they got mushed in there. I mean, you can tell they kind of they, they mushed it. it. Yeah. But it's okay because this, this would be good to put like on a salad or in a ooh, tomato soup. That would be delicious. That so, would be really and good. And by the way, I still got stuff from months ago. I haven't eaten yet. So, oregano potato chips. Okay, um, I don't know. I like oregano, honestly. Do you? Yeah. Again, they're they're very flat, very mushed, but I mean, still edible. Uh, torties, snacks, snacks, corn, corn puffs, puffs, peanut, peanut butter, peanut. and hazelnut. Peanut, peanut, peanut and hazelnut. Peanut and hazelnut. Mm. That looks like something I would eat. Uh, so. grape must soft cookie. Oh, kind of no. feels like a big Newton type of thing. Oh no! Don't let David see this. Does he like grapes or no? He, he don't like grapes. That's your water. My water bath. So, so what else did we get? An orange and dark chocolate cookie. Yeah, I you know I like orange and chocolate together. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of chocolate. I like dark chocolate, but this is but this has chunks in it. That's okay. I would. It's dark no, chocolate. It's though. dark I would, chocolate. I would eat this. This is something I would actually eat because it's got dark chocolate and orange. And I like. In fact, I like to use um, when I make like brownies. Mm -hmm. I put um, orange enhanced or uh, oil, so oh, that yeah. it's an orange chocolate brownie. It's yeah, so good. Blood orange oil. Blood orange, if I can find it. But if I can't, I just put regular orange. Uh, so this, I think, is a jelly. Sweet quince and syrup. Okay. Yeah. Little jar I, I like the jar itself, actually. <laughs> it's so little. He's so tiny. He's cute. I like this jar. I always, I save these and I find something to do with them. I, I'm just probably going my, like, sewing room. We something. have a surprise baggie from Yum Box. Oh, yes. But we're so not opening that yet. save that for last. I'm going to go check um, on my water real fast. Yeah. So while she's doing that, I'm going to take over. Uh, and sorry for any pronunciations on this. Serenata by Totis. I think it's we like didn't a take Greek in cookie. school. Or it's like so, a cream. Kind of like a, like a cream. Well, you know, it kind of looks. looks it, it, it's a croissant. Yeah. Look, it's a croissant. Kind of. So it's, it's, a, it's a croissant. And it's, it's a, a cream, cream filled, filled croissant. So, yeah, I can even feel the, the croissant shape in here. So that's what it is. Sour cherry juice mix. Juice drink. Oh, lovely cherries with water from Kefalovarisa from spring. some spring from a spring in Greece. No, we never heard of it. <laughs> Sorry, so. we're very American. <laughs> oh, oh, Ooh. Greek alphabet flashcards. Hmm. So, for those who've actually went to college, uh, you know, your Simpa and Delta Phi and all that stuff. Bye. The Greek alphabet is used to symbolize the sororities and uh, frats. Yep. I want to figure out what to do with these. Hmm. Test casing on them. No. <laughs> uh, no, I'll give these to somebody. I actually <laughs> have a box with you know a bunch what? of toys from McDonald's you and stuff what? like that. That if I'll probably give just these put them away, in there. If you're going to give these away, I can take these into work and see if the residents would enjoy it. I was thinking of just handing them out for like... Halloween. <laughs> I mean, because we have so many toys. Oh and one, one year, we tell the kids, we said, you can pick two. We have toys and we have candy. And sometimes kids took one toy and one candy. Occasionally, they took two candies. But sometimes they actually took two toys. I was surprised. They actually liked getting the toys for, for um, 
Halloween. So, but I have some toys. I keep them for uh, sometimes when I get too many of them, I'll just find a neighborhood kid and give them away. But I keep them sometimes they come in handy because, you know, if I have a friend who comes over to visit and they got a kid, they have entertainment. Mm -hmm. Um so. so these are supposed to be mini breadsticks, and it's uh, Christina's Crazinia. Crazinia, yeah, because the S and T are opposite. Swap. But it's um, basil pesto flavored croutons, essentially. Again, those would be good, be in good a on soup a salad or a salad or even spaghetti. Ah, spaghetti. Mino's nut bar, sesame and honey. That mm -hmm. sounds really good. David doesn't like sesame, so he won't want that. So. No, but I will. Actually, it's, I, he doesn't eat this stuff. He's He does really good with his diabetes. He does watch what he eats. And, and um, is he 100%? No, we're, we're, we're still learning things, tricks that, you know, to kind of get around his cravings. Like he wants ice cream. I froze some yogurts the other week and to see if maybe frozen yogurt would taste good. You know, they're sugar-free. They don't have any sugar yeah. in them. But to see if maybe they would Froyo. taste like ice cream enough for him. Yeah, Froyo. Like, Froyo like, is a thing. Yeah. People um, eat frozen yogurt. An almond baklava. Baklava. It's, I guess it's a kind of custardy Pasty, Pastry. Pastry. Yeah. Sticky. Baklava is good. It's very sticky though. Velvet cream with halva. Filled biscuits with... Halva, halva cream. cream. I don't know what halva cream is, but I think it's that stuff right there. I don't we know what halva is, but out. I think we'll try. And, I don't know because I know we're gonna try one at least. I saw these and I've been waiting on these. Oh, almond almond shortbread. shortbreads, and I love. I absolutely love these a lot. I didn't know this was a Greek dessert, so that's my bad on the research side. But uh, they're considered a traditional Greek pastry. Okay. And then last in the box before we go in there, prickly pear treats. That's too much like the Turkish delight, which I still haven't eaten. I still have it. I have not touched it. I mean, I have. I've moved it from These are called, place, but I haven't opened it. Uh, Those, prickly pear delights. So it's kind of like a Turkish delight. So mm -hmm. this is mine. It's kind of similar to the date nuts, uh, fruit nuts. Uh, desserts that you might find in a grocery store around Christmas time because it's something that's traditionally handed off to um, hosts upon receiving guests. See, still got my Turkish delight. Now I got these Greek delights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> sounds like I eat a lot. I really don't eat. Now we get to open this one. Well, let's put some of this back in this box and get it out of my face. I'm so glad I already ate dinner. I'm in the middle of eating my dinner, but that's because I'm taking forever. So, yeah, I felt bad because I was going to make some broth for dinner tonight. And then, <sighs> Keely, when she came over, I'm like, oh, man, I got the kitchen all set up to do canning. So, David went and got us some sandwiches at and our then local when I deli. Arrived, when I arrived, I already had dinner with me. <laughs> yeah, so he, he got us sandwiches at the local deli. Ooh. They're good. Okay, so I'm going to pull these out because it looks like there's like a small number of each one. Frugel. I can't read what that says. Oh my God. Frugelli. Jelly candy. It looks oh, like yep, it might it's be pomegranate. pomegranate. Yep. It's soft. It's, you, you kind of squeeze it. It's, it's yeah. a very soft. soft. So it's, it's a jelly type candy. And then some toffee. Oh, these are hard. Yeah. So you suck on What these. is it? Toffees. Mastic rose flavored candy. Yeah, but it, it's it's hard. I mean, you can mush it, but it really hard. And you got we got four so, of each one. So that was what came in our little goodie bag. Yay! So that's what came in our universal yum this time. Mm -hmm. Um, did you steal one of my thingies? Yes. I can count, you know. <laughs> I know. And it's yeah. only four. Yeah, that's how I can count. Well, did you want to try it? Did you want to open one and try one of the We could try snacks? one thing. What snack do you want to open? Oh, I don't care. Uh, not these. these <laughs> <are mine. laughs> Let's try the Turkish slice. No. 
Use your mind. Use your mind. Uh, you know what? Mine. How about some almond shortbreads to try? Okay. You can open an almond shortbread. They're messy. So is the rest of my kitchen right now from making Candy. chocolate cherry jam. Kaylee's never tasted chocolate cherry jam. I gave her a jar of it, but she still hasn't opened it because she's got other jam she's working on. It's a long and slow so, process. Yes, in fact, I still have to do the Huffleberry video that I haven't... I told you they were messy. I know, I'm trying to pull these out. They're huge! They're like this big! They're huge! Yeah, grab one. Like, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at how tall this thing is. This is... It, that huge! It's huge! Come to person. Oh my gosh, I can't eat all this. <laughs> Be right back. Again. Not that we don't have powdered sugar all over the table, because we do. But yeah, this this thing is like pretty big. It's it's mm -hmm. okay. Well, <laughs> it exploded. It's, 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 yeah, it's a mm. big mess now. Hmm. She made a bigger mess by putting it on the plate. No, yeah, but you can pick up the plate and walk off with it. Oh my gosh. It's actually really mm -hmm. good. Yeah, it's good. The almond in there is mm. nice. You got a nice... I do. I can taste almond in the bread and as well as with the nuts itself. So I think it's like a, um almond extract that they added into it. Well, it's got pieces of almond in it. Yeah. So... It is good though. Wheat flour, shortening, sugar, almonds. An artificial flavoring may contain egg, soy milk, peanuts, and other nut trees. Or tree nuts. Maybe I need to wear one of these aprons every time I eat to keep my mm -mm. clothes from getting quite so dirty all the time. Not. Anyway, so that's what came in our box. It's Greek box. And where did the book go? Mm. My water's mm. bathing. We lost the book. They came with it. He's gone. So. Nope, not there. Mm. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. So here's the book. Let's see what it has in it. Information about Greece. Um, Indonesia, what came in that one was that, that um, fried rice mix. Yeah. Did you try that yet? No. <laughs> um, I like rice, but I can only eat very little of it, and David's not supposed to eat it at all. Here's the trivia train. It's making its weird noise. Here are some of the descriptions about some of the desserts. Well, all of them, actually. They're all in here. So, the different ones. And the sour cherry soda. Um, okay, so this recipe, this one has, is for make Greek orzo salad. Filled with everything Greeks love. So, and it has oil, water, orzo, cherry tomatoes quartered, small red onion peeled and finely chopped, English cucumber finely chopped, two handfuls of Kalamata olives quartered, fresh basil roughly chopped, fresh dill roughly chopped, and then a dressing of olive oil, wine vinegar, dried oregano, a zest of a lemon, salt and pepper to taste. So, actually, that's not bad. Oh, and then you can garnish it with some feta cheese, salt, and pepper to taste. So it's not bad. So I took the pits from the cherries today, and I'm going to put them in vinegar to make a cherry vinegar, um, which I think would taste delicious on a salad. So you have to let them soak for a while, but 
Um, sorry, be right back. So, yeah, she's going to do that. I honestly, and this is something that's just a me thing, so I'm pretty sure everyone else is going to watch this afterwards. It's going to be like, ew, that's gross. No, I actually do like to put uh, some, um, if there's like a roast, like a cooked roast, I will take a slice, like take some of that roast and use raspberry vinaigrette on it as like a dipping sauce and it turns out really good too. Okay, sorry. They're done water canning, so now I have to let them set for five minutes in the water with the lid off. Then I'll take them out and have they gotta set for 12 to 24 hours. Yep. So. Then we gotta start on the second batch. Yes. So, no, it's really good. It's really, really good. Um, and then I got to make one more batch of the garlic jelly that. Um, of all the garlic bulbs I've got her. Yeah, I'm ready to make it, except for I think I need more vinegar. I'm not sure. I have to look at the recipe again, see how much vinegar it takes. I don't think it takes vinegar, though. Yeah, they all take vinegar. Or lemon juice. I think it's lemon juice, not vinegar. Maybe. Well, I need more lemon juice, too. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a quarter of a... I have a big bottle of lemon juice, and I do so much canning of jams and jellies that I'm almost out of, out of lemon juice. And, you know, you do other things with it, too. You can put it in like in... Um, tomato sauces and stuff so i'm and almost hot water to so prefer a hot mm. for a hot water lemon drink oh yeah hot hot if you put like well we used to put in japan you can buy hot canned beverages they're canned but they're hot and one of them that they had was uh, like a hot honey honey lemonade and it was so good so i like mm. to make hot honey especially if i have sore throat that honey and then the lemon and stuff and it tastes so good it helps it does help so, but honey, of course, has sugar in it, so, but you can't, it, I mean, it's the honey itself. You can't put artificial sweetener, it just won't work, but anyway, so that's what we got in the Greek box. That is what we're up to right now. I know I haven't been making videos because I have been busy doing other things, but <laughs> I am going to try to keep making these videos when I get chances to. And meanwhile, I'm also doing a lot of canning right now. I got a bunch of meat that I need to get canned for winter time i did some chicken we might so it's not determined yet but we might do a berry picking video again uh not with the huckleberry. oh i haven't i haven't even put the huckleberry one up yet <laughs> i haven't even gotten to making it that one i have to put together because there's lots of little clips this is just one video one done hit, so done. yeah um, but we're probably going to do another berry picking video. Uh, we were, I was looking for a farm that was originally doing raspberry pickings. You pick raspberries and I couldn't find the farm after the one day they had the sign posted. I was like, I can't find it. I can't find it. And, um, come to find out by the time I actually was able to like wake up to do this raspberry picking season was over. <laughs> so she, she was working. She works. Because she works grave shift right now. So she gets off work. She comes home. She goes to bed. She's tired. She wants to get her sleep. She has to get up and take care of her dog or cat and, you know, do her laundry, dishes, make dinner for herself to take to work. All of that. You know how it is. So so going to pick berries is just not something she can do on a work uh, work day. So yeah. by the time we had a day off, um, her, her day's off, she works. She gets off work Sunday morning and then she goes back Tuesday night. So the only day we have together to do something like that is on a mondays and that monday just did not work so no but we're looking so. for like blackberry a blackberry farm right now that would be available soon for picking because it's getting close to that season as of right now in the mm -hmm. making of this video and then i'm probably also going to be looking for a hazelnut um collecting as well because i love absolutely love hazelnut um and I'd be, I'm looking forward to doing that as well. I don't know if she's going to go with me or not because I know Dave doesn't like hazelnuts. He doesn't like any nuts. But He likes some nuts. He does eat some nuts. He just doesn't like a lot of them. So, so um, yeah, there's that going on right now. But, you know, we, we I want to look for an area that would also be dog friendly. Not just for my dog, but for her dog too so that the dogs could just have a good time and chill out that that's exactly what they did on huckleberry when we went huckleberry picking is they loki was like 
walking between her and me, mm -hmm. trying to keep an eye on the two of us. And we were picking next to a group of uh, people with kids. So he started walking with them as well to keep an eye on everybody. <laughs> it's so funny. He, he's kind of, he, he kind of almost herds in a way, but he's good. Loki is good at, he'll stay with us. Mm -hmm. um, he, if he gets out, he doesn't take off. He, Odin, if he is left free, he is gone. So we have to keep him. What we ended up doing is we tied him to Loki. <laughs> so, because Loki wouldn't let him go anywhere. So Loki would be like, uh-uh, I'm going. So, yeah, Loki anyway. would drag him back. Because um, it's how I kind of accidentally taught him how to herd dogs. And every time he sees a dog that looks just like Odin, because Odin is an English cream retriever, every time Loki sees another English cream retriever, he has to try and herd that dog back. It's so funny when he's at the dog park trying to do that to the poor dogs. And I have the owners laughing. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. He's doing this because he thinks he has to herd the dog. And that's not, he's not trying to be mean. He's just doing what he was taught to do, <laughs> which was to herd my mom's dog. <laughs> so, okay. Sorry about that. So that batch of chocolate cherry jam is done. Now we have to let it set 12, 24 hours and then... We could take the rings off and wash the jars because if they have any sticky... Ooh, they're already popping! Yay! I love that pop, 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 pop. And you have to be a canner to know what I'm talking about, about how I heard hearing that pop, that ping. Actually, it's kind of a ping, but yes, it excites us when we hear those pings. So, yep. So that was today's video. Thank you for helping me with it, Keely. No problem. And for helping me with the chocolate cherry jam. Oh, yeah, no problem. I highly recommend it if you like chocolate and you like cherries. Chocolate cherry jam. So. And if you're curious about, about what exactly you can use chocolate cherry jam for, um, you can, like, we were just talking about, like, different things that we could use. I was talking about, like, swirling it in some cheesecake if you like cheesecake and chocolate and cherries. Or drizzling it on. Yeah, drizzle it on. I mean, it's, it's, when it's room temperature or cold, it, it doesn't drizzle. It's set. But you can warm it up and it melts it, and then you can drizzle drizzle it on. Um, but you could drizzle it on. Another cake. suggestion I had made was to put it as a glaze in mm -hmm. a cake. If you yeah, have the a center filling. Cake. Put that. Um, but it, it is, you, I mean, you could just drizzle it. If you had just like a single layer slice of cake, you can drizzle it on that. That would be good. She likes or to ice heat cream. hers. She likes to heat hers up and put it all over vanilla or even chocolate ice cream. I don't like chocolate ice cream. Oh, yeah. Uh, but no, I mean, she, you can do that. You can put it on ice cream. You can, I mean, there's so much you can do with it. You can, it's, it's just, and the if you get around to it, because normally you just want to eat using, it right out of the jar. The chocolate we're <laughs> using is a dark chocolate mm -hmm. because we're both not really big on milk chocolate. Yeah, I have Ghirardelli's dark chocolate, um, cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. I think that one was mine. Powder. Not the Ghirardelli's. It's a big, like, gallon size oh, okay. container. That one's not yours. I thought it but, was mine. No, I have the other one that's yours. That's, yeah. But that one is not yours, no. Okay. So, but, yep, that's what we use, dark chocolate. Because I like dark chocolate. So, mm -hmm. And I like dark chocolate, too. We're not big on milk chocolate, so. Not really. Mm. No. That's KK's favorite. <laughs> so, anyway. Have a good night. Take care. God bless. See you next time. Peace.